Hello friends, as we all know, we have started the mind map series and we have completed chapter 1 Reproduction in Organism. Now, this is the mind map of chapter 2 Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants of class 12th. So, let's start this mind map. First is flower. Let me tell you, this mind map consists of three parts flower, microsporogenesis, and megasporogenesis and then at last double fertilization so let's start flower consists of two parts one male part and another is female part androsium and gynosium androsium is the male part which further consists of stamens what is stamen stamen is the pollen producing reproductive organ of the flower Collectively, the stamen forms the androsium or the group of stamen is called the androsium. Again, stamen consists of filaments and anther. Filament is a stalk-like structure that attaches to the base of the flower and supports the anther. And what is the function of anther? Anther produces pollen grain. The proximal end of the filament is attached to the petal of the flower. From this line, question is formed in previous year NEET exams. So underline this. Next is, anther is bilobed and have four microsporangia. A typical angiosperm anther is bilobed with each lobe having two theca, they are dithecus. And the anther is four-sided tetragonal structure consist of, consisting of four microsporangia located at the corners two in each lobe, hence it, it have four microsporangia. Now gynosium part, stigma and style and ovary. Gynosium part consists of three parts, stigma, style and ovary. The stigma serves as the landing platform for pollen grains which is produced by anthers. And style, the style is the elongated slender part beneath the stigma one of the major function of this style is to assist with the first fertilization by being the location where pollen tubes travel to deliver male cells to the egg and what is ovary according to ncrt the basal bulged part of the pistil is called the ovary gynosium is also known as pistil so don't be confused Next part, ovules. The ovary contain ovules which develop into seed upon fertilization. This part is cleared. Now again to androsium part and we will start microsporogenesis. What is microsporogenesis? As the anther develops, the cells of the sporogenous tissue undergo meiotic division, microspore mother cells undergo meiotic division to form microspore tetrad. Microspore mother cell is a diploid cell in plants that divide by meiosis to give rise to four haploid microspores. In flowering plants, MMC or microspore mother cells are formed within the pollen sacs of the anther by mitosis. The microspore produce and develop into pollen grains. Now tetrad. Tetrad means there are four cells and are, all are haploid in nature. Next, mitosis. Microspore tetrad undergo mitosis to produce pollen grains. In some plants, pollen grains are shed into two conditions, a vegetative cell and a generative cell. In such plants, the generative cells divides and formed the two male gametes during the growth of pollen tube in stigma and in plant which shed pollen grain in three cell condition pollen tubes carry the two male gametes from the beginning and so this is generative cell divides into two male gametes next part is pollination what is pollination pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from male part anther of a plant to the female part which is stigma of a plant later enabling fertilization and production of seeds 
then pollen germination now back to gynoecium and megasporogenesis is the next topic what is megasporogenesis now the process of formation of megaspores from the mmc megaspore mother cell is called megasporogenesis ovules generally differentiate a single megaspore mother cells in the mycopylar region of the new cells next is megaspore mother cell form four megaspores out of four megaspores three degenerate and one remain functional that functional megaspore undergo mitosis three times and form eight nucleated seven celled embryo sac after the eight nucleated stage cell walls are laid down leading to the organization of the typical female gametophyte or embryo sac next is two polar nuclei three cells from egg apparatus one egg and two synergids three cells from antipodal cell 3 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 8 next part part is double fertilization which is most important part of this chapter and asked many times in previous year so don't skip this part what is double fertilization double fertilization is a complex fertilization mechanism of the flowering plants angiosperms and it occurs only in angiosperms this process develops the joining of a female gametophyte or also called mega gametophytes with two male gametes and double fertilization consists of two parts triple fusion and syngamy now after entering one of the synergids pollen tube releases two male gametes into the cytoplasm of the synergid one of the male gametes move towards the egg cell and fuses with its nucleus completing the syngamy this part is completed as egg plus one male gamete equals zygote which is 2n diploid in nature and triple fusion the other male gametes move towards the two polar nuclei two polar nuclei located in the central cell and fuses with them to produce triploid primary endosperm nucleus this is triploid primary endosperm nucleus abbreviated as pen now zygote further divides into suspensor and embryogenesis by mitosis process which results into multicellular embryo and further the embryo develops into seed now from pen it form endosperm and which again develop into seed then seed form plant and plant produce flowers thus completing the cycle and this is corolla corolla means collection of petals and calyx means collection of sepals this flow chart is complete and you can find it on the link given in description please like this video subscribe and share this with your neat mates to help them thank you very much